Hi. Hi, Sid. <laughs> Hello, <back>. Dr. Fong. <laughs> First off, um, your, your research lab at Stanford, um, you are doing some groundbreaking research on uh, behavior change. Yeah. What exactly prompted you to do this research and what are you learning? Well, I've long been interested in how to influence behavior for the better. And about 20 years ago, not about 20 years ago, I had just finished writing my dissertation about how computers could impl influence people's uh, opinions and their behaviors. And I was most interested in the behavior piece of that. And um, after that, did more research in what I called persuasive technology. And little by little, I became more interested in helping people change their own behavior than studying how to create machines that change human behavior. And so for about the past, since about 2010, last eight years, that's, we haven't done any research in persuasive technology. It's really all a bit been about understanding how human behavior works and coming up with a set of models to describe that and a set of methods so you can design to help people change their behavior for the better, whether that's health behavior, financial behavior, security behavior, and so on. And what have you found out that are the misconceptions that we have in the public and uh, what are the, the nuances that you've discovered that would help us be better at it? How long do I have here, I said? <laughs> There's a lot, I'll, I'll just go to some highlights. Uh, number one, one of the misconceptions is that changing behavior is hard. That's not necessarily true. There's some types of behavior change that are very easy. Uh, and then some types are really hard and some types that may be impossible. So there's a whole spectrum. Uh, let me give an example that's easy. Uh, if you have a teenage daughter and you buy her a mobile phone, she will start carrying around that mobile phone all the time. That is not a hard habit to create in her life, right? That's like really easy. Whereas a hard behavior, uh, one of the hardest behaviors I think is to meditate for 30 minutes or more daily. It's a hard habit to form because it takes time and you don't feel very successful in doing it. And some of the addictions are terribly hard behaviors to change. So you have this whole continuum. So don't assume that changing behavior is hard and there are, and number two, some people think they just have to guess it. Like, how do we get somebody to use a secure password? Or how do we get somebody to understand the risks they're uh, taking on by connecting to public Wi-Fi? Well, there's a system you can go through. You don't have to guess on how to do it. It's just, there's a systematic approach. And, and that's what my work is that I call behavior design. It's a system of models and methods that work together. So you don't have to guess on how you designed for behavior change, you, it's a system. So you can go through it step by step and figure out the answer.